novel about you on Twitter. Oh, uh, let's see. It's jo- insane. John Zerka? Here we go. Let's see. I needed some entertainment at this bus ride. Do not forget to mention how you abandoned a mentally ill girl as she was trying to get back at me for my new Miami girl. You let ex of mine cut herself with a knife in your bathroom and you exited the house because you couldn't get pussy. It's archived and you are weak. Let left her alone to have a mental breakdown and never mentioned a word of it to anyone. It's good that she leaked all of that to me. Then you three all called me on my personal line and tried to weasel out an apology for disrespect, uh, yeah, calling her crazy. And, uh, Hold on, I'm, Sonny. I'm, I'm oh, going to the thing here. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Still have the recording. How your best friend hated me because he saw me in his girlfriend's apartment that he shared with her. Due to cuck and she didn't even touch me, relax. Then my ex sends me photos that I still have of the mess, telling me that she's losing it and all you had to do was decelerate the carnage. You trying to drag me into hell with you? No thanks. Of course I'm a bad person for getting the Miami girl that fast, but I was fed up after she went to jail for hitting me, so I don't care. What? Hey, hold on. Okay. I'm thinking like, bro, this is, ri- I'm not reading all this shit. I told you it was ridiculous. You were scamming. Let me see. Before scamming, you were worth 65 cents. Almost as much as Enza for the hour. Okay. Uh-huh. Something. Do not beg him take you back either just because you fucked a fat bitch and cheated. The fuck is he talking about? What the hell? Focus on your boxing career where you guard punches with your face and lose every single round. Okay. All right. And he says something about modafinil. Okay. Do not tie my name to your legacy of making out with men for content. Okay. Am I bad for taking Emily and other girl from you? The fuck? You're lucky I left Kim alone when you were depressed. Felt bad for you as your girlfriend went around the Twitch rodeo. (laughs) Okay, buddy. She lived in Missouri until literally September. One day we will cross paths and it will be recorded for the world to see. Okay. So, Mr. 25 likes and, oh, cry, okay, four likes for Heal Mike on Twitter. Four likes and 25 likes. We've got the, the Zero Clout crew over here. So, let's see here. Mm, let's see here. John Zerka. Uh, I mean, how do I put this lightly since you want to be a fucking bitch? Fucked your ex. Then uh, Nick White fucked your ex. Um, she was actually a really nice girl. She cut herself, though, because she said that she uh, couldn't, like, I don't know, manipulate me or something. I don't know. She was, like, being a fucking weirdo about it. Uh, and then she said that you were verbally abusive, emotionally abusive, uh, and a little physically abusive as well, and you do drugs, your liver's failing, so I don't know why you're talking about modafinil. Uh, you'll never get a chance to box because you have no clout, and you don't even have a Twitch channel anymore, and Heal Mike is literally keeping you somewhat alive, and Heal Mike is barely alive himself. Mm, let's see, what else did you say? You said you left Kim alone, but she would never touch you because you're a fat like drug addict that does fucking coke all the time who has zero clout whatsoever and zero money because you begged Jill for money I saw the text and I listened when you guys FaceTime in the other room you were begging her for money you also paid 20k for your veneers so you could impress Jill which is the biggest cuck move I've ever seen in my life because Jill made fun of your fucking nasty ass teeth and uh what else Really, that's it. I think that's I think that's everything. You're the most insecure person I've ever seen in my entire life. And uh, I mean, honestly, you're just a fucking bitch. Like you're just a you're just like a dumb bitch. I don't know. I don't know. You're like super insecure and fat. I don't know. Like congratulations, I guess, on your veneers, but uh, you're broke and uh, retarded. So 230 pounds or 250 pounds or something. But there's more to life than fighting. And you wish you could be me. I have everything that you've ever wanted in life. Because I've talked to you in person before. And I know exactly what you want in life. You've all. All you've ever wanted in life was to be a liked. A big popular liked streamer. That has a lot of money. That's all you've ever wanted in life bro. But instead you are a loser. Who's banned on Twitch and has absolutely no following. Which I'm banned on Twitch but I have a following. I mean, 
Yeah, let him pro. Literally, D Pack gets more viewers than John Zerka. Fucking D Pack. You're like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, come on, bro. Like, you've got so much fucking, like, shit that I know about you from Jill, and you want to come at me? Like, you're fucking so stupid, bro. Yeah, I mean, you could record yourself fighting me, bro, and I'll record, and, like, you could record yourself, like, punch me in the face, whatever. I'll record myself, uh, see, putting you in handcuffs, and then doing a raspberry in your face. Just know that you'll never be better than Deepak. Ew, can you say, fuck John Zerka? Fuck John Zerka. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this. Yeah, now, now knowing that fucking lunatic, he's gonna be like, and this fucking little Indian guy, fucking, look at this guy living in a, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's gonna be like fucking retarded. Like, he's gonna lose his mind because he's on fucking coke every day. I think that's, I think I've said enough there. So, I mean, I do, I mean, he's, I feel bad though. He's clearly like on drugs and he's like manic. That's why he wrote like a 50,000 word essay, but. I mean, I'm just having a good time. I think it's funny. The text message that I saw him send to Jill, oh my God, it was so cringe. The dude was like crying, bro. He was like, I cannot believe that you, you touched another man. I can never see you the same again. I cannot believe it. Like, bro, you don't own her, bro. She's like, you guys were not dating. Imagine saying that cringe ass weirdo shit. Like, I was, like he was really crying tears on the phone. I was listening, fucking laughing in the background. Just so you know, chat, if I die, though, he killed me. That dude's crazy. He's a lunatic. He's crazy. He's cool. If I die, it's probably from him. Because that's what Coke does to people. They make the people do crazy things. Yo, know, Mike said to me in text, stay in India. Uh-oh, here we go. Stay in India, bud. <laughs> Dude said stay in India. This guy is so funny. I know he'll, Mike is just honestly, def- like, just trying to be a good friend to John Serco. I know that's actually what it is. So I'm not even going to talk shit about him, to be honest. 